We've got Bitcoin climbing back this morning, cryptocurrencies trying to recover from last week's volatility. I think it's interesting to look at the crypto angle in this war as well. You've been saying for a long time that Bitcoin and gold are perceived as a store of, or of value against inflation, but yeah. crypto's got lots of volatility. What do you want to do here? Well, yeah, exactly. I feel like we've been lied to, Maria. I mean, everyone said that, you know, look, you want to own Bitcoin because it's the new gold. Um, it has this finite amount, which is fake scarcity, as we know, because there is only so much gold in the world. And you could print as many digital uh, digits on the screen as you possibly want to. And what I think it's interesting here is you have two big opportunities for Bitcoin to do well here. Number one, you had the invasion of Ukraine. Bitcoin went down 10 percent. It wasn't a safe haven. Uh, whereas gold was, props to Dennis Gartman, who's been talking about gold a lot on this show. Um, it's, you know, historically, when the proverbial you-know-what hits the fan, gold tends to do very, very well. Bitcoin didn't do it. Secondly, we've had huge inflation numbers for months now. Bitcoin's down 30 percent over the last three months. It has not been an inflation hedge whatsoever. So it's kind of interesting, all the narratives you've heard about uh, what crypto can do. Uh, how it's a hedge in your portfolio and how basically with all these central banks basically printing so much money, basing their currencies, the dollar is actually strong right now uh, as we have you know crisis around the world. So, you know, I think the question here is at this point, you know, is Bitcoin going to go higher here? It's up 10 percent here. I think it actually can just because I think there's still a lot of speculative money out there. Uh, but any real investment thesis to own Bitcoin here you know, I don't think it's true. You can actually vote on my Instagram story this morning. Um, I think, you know, the bottom line is you're getting proven here right now with all these crises that are going on. And what I also think is interesting is past this prologue. You know, anything we've talked about energy a lot on the show this morning. John Dennis mentioned it. Um, you know, that historically is a great inflation hedge. And, you know, energy prices are up 30 yeah. percent this year. Commodities histor historically are a great inflation hedge. Commodities are up 15 percent this year. And we've had this flight to quality. Money has gone to the Treasury market. It's gone to gold as we're seeing crises around the world. So I think history tells you everything you need to know. All the traditional hedges are in place. They're working right now. Um, this is the reason you want to be diversified and you want to stay away from those disruptive technologies that essentially get hammered uh, when you have uncertainty like you have right now. So it's a very interesting time. And I, the, the past will teach you everything you need to know about investing.